Tens of thousands of college students returning to North Central Florida for the new school year. Class is already in session for women who are in training to draw the line. TV 20's Chris Gilmore reports on a rape prevention course that has come full circle after a series of high profile crimes over the years. Alachua County held its first rape regression defense course in 2007 through the Sheriff's Office and they're still active with classes every month. We would get lots of calls from women asking, or from husbands asking if we had a self-defense class that we could teach their women. And the answer was always no. So I went in search of something that we could offer to the community. A year later in May 2008, a brutal rape in Hale Plantation shook the community and increased interest in defense classes. Pagel says she notices a pattern of interest in the RAD program in the community that she hopes to change. After a little while passes, and people forget about it and it gets to the back burner, people think, oh, you know, I don't really need to spend 12 hours going to this class. I'm never going to need it. Everybody thinks, oh, it won't happen to me. And then, lo and behold, we'll get another uprising. Something will happen and people will be, oh, I really need to take that class. Santa Fe College's moment occurred in January when a student was forced at gunpoint into a stranger's car until she was able to jump out a couple hours later. Gainesville's moment happened last month when Andrew Payne Jr., a suspect in the Hale rape four years ago, was arrested. The case that we're talking about that just came to a conclusion with the arrest of the rapist um, was actually the driving force behind this. Two years ago, our reporters demonstrated some of the exercises the students learned, but otherwise cameras are not allowed in to see specific techniques. The class focuses on awareness, prevention, risk reduction, and avoidance, as well as hands-on defense training. So we're talking about things that you can use on your own body, your own arms, legs, hands, feet, and the thinking skills that you need to survive. And that's really what RAD's about, is to um, create survivors instead of victims. One more class session, and hopefully no more assaults. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News. The courses are open to women only, ages 13 and older. The next class series is scheduled to begin on September 19th. For registration information, visit our website, wcjb.com.